Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about an excellent abstract algebra book. This book is probably one of the best graduate level abstract algebra books out there because it is so comprehensive. I have used this book for so many things. Um, I never used it in an actual course, but I bought it as a reference and I ended up referencing it again and again and again. And I taught myself various things in abstract algebra uh, via self-study uh, using this book. So I use this book to learn a lot of math for the first time. It's a great book. It's totally worth owning. Let's take a look inside this book. I bought this book used um, and it said it was like new but when I got it uh, the spine was all messed up so lesson learned. I'm usually for used books but I really should have gotten a newer copy. Um, so the contents, uh, he starts off by talking about some number theory and then he goes into group theory, subgroups. And again, I use this book to teach myself uh, group actions. He does a really, really good job. I read it, it made sense, I understood it, and I was able to move on and finish my homework. Subgroups, quotient groups and homomorphisms. I've actually read this here on um, composition series, so I've also used this book uh, for that as well. More on group actions. Celo theorems, I have actually used this book uh, for that as well. So, uh, And for this, direct and semi-direct products, um, I also use this book to help myself learn uh, semi-direct products, not direct, just semi-direct. And some more topics. Then he goes into rings. I've actually read uh, the ring theory stuff, including the Chinese remainder theorem. And he talks about Euclidean domains, PIDs, and UFDs, polynomial rings, modules, and vector spaces, tensor products of modules. I've also read that section. Exact sequences, vector spaces, modules over PIDs, field theory, Galois theory. Lots of stuff here. Really good book. And then he talks about uh, some other stuff, right? Noetherian rings, Artinian rings, really great stuff. Homological algebra, and then representation theory and character theory. So the textbook is very well written. Uh, Dummett and Foote is an excellent book. I have spent uh, a long time reading this book. Unfortunately, I was never able to use this book in a course. I think it would have been a good choice. Um, it's a really great book. Uh, it's got a lot of information. It reads well. And if you're learning algebra on your own, it's a good book to learn from. It helps to have other books with you, uh, but this one is definitely worth having. It's worth having this book because it's written at a higher level and it has more information than your typical algebra book. There's so much stuff in here that you can't find in like an undergraduate uh, abstract algebra book. Dummett and Foote has tons of problems, tons. Each section has a lot of problems. I mean, this is 3.1. We're already up to 34. I think that's it. Let me turn the page. Nope, 43. So, I mean, ridiculous. There are so many exercises. So if you're looking for practice, there is no shortage of that in this book. Again, the readability of this book is quite good. Um, it's a good book, and it has a lot of topics that you can't find uh, in other textbooks. So that alone uh, makes it worth having. My only regret with this book is that I didn't buy a new copy. I mean, my copy is falling apart. Let me turn the page here so you can see. See, see that? That's pretty bad. So every time I open this book, um, it gets worse and worse and worse. I have books from the 20s and 30s uh, that are in better shape <laughs> than this one. Um, so again, the book is Dummett and Foot, Abstract Algebra, right? An awesome book, uh, definitely worth owning if you're trying to learn abstract algebra. And even if you're just starting out, I still think it's a good book. You should get this one and then like some beginner books as well. That's it.